right before you get drafted, uh, you get a million dollars for an endorsement deal. And I spend it in one day. How'd you do it? Well, you know, when you're young, you don't have a lot of business savvy. There's two words you forget about, FICA and sales tax. So I thought I was getting $1 million straight up, but you forget about those things. So really I got about maybe like 600000 So I go and I go buy a $150,000 car. No negotiations. I don't know nothing about negotiations. Guy could have told me 200000 I would have bought it. So I go and I get a black Mercedes because that's what, that's what I always wanted, black Mercedes and some nice wheels. Guy was like 150, write the check. And I come home, my father's like, that's nice, where's mine? I was like, you know what, you made me who I am, jump in. So we ride, told the guy, I want another one, same one I got. So there go 300,000 right there. So we get home and my mom was like, oh, that's nice. I don't want one that big, I want a little one. Because I know I got more money coming in. So I'm just like, oh, just want to take care of this stuff now. So I go get my mom one, there's 500,000 right there. So now I got to get suits for the draft. I got to get jewelry, I got to get earrings, you know, I got to buy, I got to buy the Alpine pull-out deck so when I go to the club, I got it with me, I got to get the alarm that calls the beeper and the phone. So a couple of days later, I get a call from the bank, who, who was a family friend, the manager of the bank, and he called me and he said, uh, you know how to read bank statements? I was like, yeah, I, I learned it in school. So as I was reading it, I was 80,000 in the hole and I was looking. I was real embarrassed, and he was like, I know you got more money coming in, I'm, I'm going to just put this to the side for you. Then he touched my hand and said, son, I watch you play here at high school, you're bright, you're, you're a smart young man, I don't want you to be like all these other athletes. Like I, heard, like I always hear that term all my life, I don't want you to be like all these other athletes. So I said, you know what, I got to get a financial advisor. So I met with a, with a whole bunch of guys, and uh, you know, a lot of guys were coming in, and I can remember old timers saying, if it's too good to be true, don't do it. So a lot of guys came in, yeah, uh, they say you're gonna get 40 million on your first contract, you give me the 40 million, I can turn it into 200 million. By the time you're 23, I was like, I don't like this guy. Another guy said the same thing. And then I met one little small, beautiful Jewish man who says, I'm in the savings bonds. You know, we're gonna put your money and you know, we're gonna start a sub chapter S corporation from your family. So. You know, all the stuff that you're doing, you can write it off. I was like, you know what, shalom, barak Hashem, I'm going with you, sir. And uh, his name was Lester Nesbitt, I've been with him, and you know, he's like a father to me. Like